Hey everyone, it's Marcus Browning and welcome to another HD tutorial. And in this video, I'll be showing you the easy way um, that I use to make callouts in Camtasia Studio 6. So I'll be going over a number of the Camtasia Studio 6 features here. But first of all, I'm going to open up Camtasia Studio. And this is the interface itself. Here we go. Um, in order to add a callout, first of all, you need to have some media here. So I'm just going to intro, uh, drag in two clips here, just two intro videos that I've done. Nothing special. And I'm going to take them and drag them onto the timeline, drag them down here. They'll be added. Now you're going to have to choose a preset. And I do upload all my videos in HD, so if you want to know how exactly I get my HD preset, go ahead and watch that video. So I'm going to hit OK. And these two clips are officially on the timeline. And I can go and preview them and edit them at my will. Now if, I'm, if I come to a certain point where I want to add an annotation, or sorry, a callout, which is basically the Camtasia Studio 6 version of an annotation, what we're going to do is go over here to the edit button and go over and hit the sorry, go over and hit the callouts button. And the callouts button is basically um, the callouts are basically little uh, text boxes or different things that you can put over a video. Uh, they won't slant with your video, but they'll they'll work very very well um, and make your video look professional and you have very good video editing. So um, first of all, you have to choose the type of annotation, and there are trust me a lot of types of annotations that you can add here. Um, first of all, there's the arrow, and you will always see, by the way, uh, the annotation that you're doing in the top, um, in the preview window. So you can see you editing your own call out here, adjust the dimensions of it, and you can always put text in it. So you could say, look, or look, oh, I can't type today, look here. So there. It'll uh, show up in your preview window live as you type it. So what I like to do, um, you can also do, I'll just go through these, a two-sided arrow just basically looks like that, an arrow on both sides, an indented arrow. A blur callout can be used for like blurring personal information, so if I don't want you to see something, you can put several layers of a blur callout on top of uh, something you don't want to see. I do use that uh, occasionally in my tutorials, but no big deal. Next I'll show you it. the highlighter callout is actually what you can use to highlight text. Now it won't work very well with this um, with this particular clip here because there's no text in it. But if I was doing a screencast and I didn't want to use an arrow or a spotlight, which I'll show you in a second, then I would use a, uh, a little a little yellow highlighter just to show you guys uh, the exact text I want to show you. So next, oh, and you can also choose the fill color of the uh, highlighter. Next, you can choose a highlight rectangle, which doesn't do much. It just kind of brightens the uh, brightens what you have there. You can change the color, obviously the fill color of a lot of these different highlighters and just hit OK to actually change it. Now we're going to keep going down to a transparent hotspot I never really use because it doesn't work in YouTube. Okay, this just works for PowerPoint presentations, so if you want to see the uh, PowerPoint presentations video, go ahead and look at that. There's a little integration with Camtasia Studio 6 and PowerPoints. You can do a notepad one, which basically looks like this. I have used this once in a while. Pardon me. I have used this once in a while. You can choose what side of the notepad is on. Um, not a very big deal. Um, you can change, obviously, the, the fill color and the opacity of it. Um, and I do use these all, pretty much all of these callouts once in a while. And I'll show you samples, obviously, as I go through these here. Next is a bubble callout, a square callout, which is, uh, I think, I believe, transparent. Then the spotlight callout, which I do use kind of often. It grays out everything in the photo except for what you put the, the spotlight over. So if I want to spotlight a certain thing, I just drag it. And I hit the finish button, and it is uh, it is actually spotlighting it for that particular uh, length on the timeline. Uh, let's keep going down here. You can have a filled rectangle, a rounded rectangle, uh, a little speech bubble rectangle, and a text callout. Now, the text callout is what I use the most. It's just a simple text overlay. Uh, you can obviously change the font here. I'll change it to Calibri, my favorite font, and change the size to so be a little bigger. And there you see. On the, uh, in the preview window, it says, look here, and there's the text. So um, I do use these callouts quite a bit in my videos, and I know you guys have asked. So there you go. That's how you use the text callout. Now, custom callouts. This is really fun. Um, you can add or edit a custom callout. Now, I'm going to remove these custom callouts. But um, basically, if I wanted to show you guys, say, a picture of something, I would go onto the Internet and find a picture and use that as a custom callout, or maybe just a screenshot. So let's go ahead and open up the Snip tool in Windows Vista, and uh, just take a little uh, snip of what we want to show everyone in our video. We want to show everyone this little uh, time, this little uh, toolbar up here. I'm just going to snip that, and there is my file. I'm going to hit Save, 
and I'm going to save it as a callout file in um, my pictures. So it's my pictures callout file. Save it. And it's, you can just exit out of this. It's a JPEG image. So now when we say we want a custom callout, we're going to go to add slash edit custom. And again, remove these customs. And we're going to select new custom callout, which is where we actually go into our uh, pictures here. And whether we've saved one from the internet or we've uh, created a screenshot or whatever, we're going to find that picture. And here is the callout file, and I'll just hit open. And here it is in the preview window. That's exactly what we were looking for. You can change the dimensions, but you can also obviously do that in the preview window. So I'm just going to hit OK. And then we're going to actually have to select it. So just go to select that custom callout. And there it is. Now there's still text overlay, so I'll just delete that text. And here is what we wanted to show people. There it is. We can obviously um, we can make it bigger so people can see it better. We can make it smaller so people don't uh, it doesn't draw too much attention. But what I like to do, um, if I hit finish here and I go to zoom and pan, I like to tilt the video to one side and have the call out on the other side. So I tilted the video to that side. I'll have the call out, drag it over here to the other side. It's an extreme example. It doesn't obviously fit very well, but that's that's what I like to do. So yeah, that's how I add callouts. You can obviously add text to any uh, to any callout you'd like. Um, it does. You can change the font. I obviously showed you guys where to get fonts anywhere you like. And uh, down in the timeline, you can obviously change how long the callout lasts. So if it's a spotlight and you happen to zoom away, you don't have to um, you don't have to have the spotlight still on while you zoomed away from what you wanted to highlight. So that's very good. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the general introduction of callouts in Camtasia Studio 6. Um, I will have a lot more Camtasia Studio 6, uh, what's it called, tutorials coming out, sorry. Um, whether it has to do with audio, with video editing, and I'm trying to make a sweet music video so I can show you guys a very interesting music video. But anyway, that is how you do callouts in Camtasia Studio 6. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you do have any other video tutorials or requests, just PM me or send me a message. And if you are subscribed, I'll do a request video. I'll show you guys exactly how I do this kind of stuff. And I'll put your link in the description so people can check out your channel. So thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more. And I hope you like this tutorial and all the rest to come. So thanks for watching. Peace.